is up guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing something really fun a nice little treat which i wish i could have got this video out by valentine's day but i just decided i was going to make them for this party which is another thing i am going to be doing a voiceover today instead of interacting with you guys because i'm having too much noise going on in this house it's too many distractions so i'm going to do a voiceover for you guys but before we even get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a fat thumbs up to show your support. Also, comment down below any ideas you may have for Kitchen Chaos. And also, don't forget to follow me on social media and turn that post notification bell on so you can be notified every time I post. So, anyway, we're going to get right into this. Okay, guys, so today we're actually going to be making white chocolate almond clustered strawberries and chocolate turtle strawberries um i seen this on social media and i wanted to try it um it didn't really show you how to make it but i'm just gonna do it the easy way that i know how and this is very very beginner friendly so you guys are gonna see what we do so let's just get right into this video guys all right guys so we're gonna start off with some soaked strawberries we're soaking them in vinegar and salt just to clean them we got some walnut pieces also some chocolate melts that you can get from any store. Um, I also have the white chocolate melts and some caramel sauce for the chocolate turtle strawberries. I have some sea salt roasted almonds, which are my favorite snack. I went ahead and lined the pan with some wax paper because I will be placing the strawberries on this pan. Don't have to be perfect because you see mine wasn't. I'm going to grab one of these uh, Ziploc storage bags and I'm going to add some of my roasted almonds in them because I'm actually going to crush them up. Um, once you guys crush these almonds up, you really do not need to have like them all crushed up the same size because of the fact that you kind of want the sizes to be different. It kind of gives it like a real like effect, like as if you got them in the store. Um, and I love like real big chunks of almonds in my white chocolate anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna put them in this little Ziploc bag and I'm gonna grab my hammer. If you have like a rolling pin or something else, you can use that. But I'm gonna grab my hammer and I'm just gonna crush the almonds up to my liking. But if you do want to add the almonds and make sure they're all the way crushed, go ahead. Me personally, I like bigger chunks. Um, there's the the hammer. I'm just gonna crush them up to the size that I want them to. Now that my almonds are crushed up how I like them, I'm gonna take this white chocolate and my regular chocolate melts and literally all the instructions tell you to do is pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, you wanna stir it up until it's smooth and then um, if it's not smooth, you just pop it in for a little bit more until that you can stir it smooth. I went ahead and tasted one because I wanted to know what it tastes like and because I'm always snacking. So I went ahead and put that on for 30 seconds. And I'm getting the other one ready so I can put that one in the microwave as well. So it should look like this once you take it out of the microwave. You want to stir it and make sure that it's smooth. Um, and then I also did the chocolate one. This one was a bit thicker even after I microwaved it a little. So I just left it alone um, and just kept trying to stir it until it was smooth enough for me. So I went ahead and took some strawberries out and pat dried them with a napkin. And then I'm going to start taking the little green, little grassy parts. I really don't know the name. Maybe it's like the stem or something. I don't know. I ended up taking the tops of those off just because I don't like those. And I feel like when I make stuff, I want it to be pretty. And these were like wild. And please excuse the strawberries because I had to Instacart them. And he picked up some raggedy strawberries. And I was like, you know what? Just next time, I'm going to just go get them myself instead of being lazy. Because how you just going to bring somebody some raggedy looking strawberries like that? They don't even look like, you know, I had to pick the best ones out of the bunch. And these was the ones. Okay, so now I have my walnuts. I'm going to add this inside of my chocolate. 
after I crush it up just a little bit. They're already in pieces, but I wanted them to just be a little bit smaller because they are going on these tiny strawberries. So I went ahead and crushed them up a little, and then I'm going to add them into this chocolate and then give it a nice stir. Now, when you're mixing this in, you want to make sure that they're fully covered. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, you have enough to where you know there's walnuts in there, but you don't want too much to where it's more nuts in there than chocolate. And so I ended up cutting the tops off of the strawberries and using these wood skewers to help me out. They didn't really help because these strawberries kept falling off and everything. So you'll see I'm going to end up using like two of them later on in the video, but this is just to help me um, put them inside to mix inside the chocolate just to cover them. And then at the end, I ended up taking them off. As you can see, the strawberry was not trying to stay on. It was like, girl, get me off of this stick. So I ended up adding the second one, like I said, and it helped just a little bit, but I don't know. I think I would have been better off using my fingers or like a fork or something. But I wanted to make sure that it was fully covered. Um, oh my God, it looks so good. Just like me just making this during the process, I wanted to eat it so bad. Like you'll see me snacking from here and there. Um, but other than that, I just finished covering the strawberries with this chocolate. So now I moved on to the white chocolate. Um, this one was a bit smoother because the chocolate melted better. And um, it came out like evenly. It was very easy to do this one. The strawberries still weren't cooperating, but that was okay. I ended up just setting all these strawberries to the side and letting them dry, um, which only took maybe like three to five minutes to actually dry and like have a shell on them. So it didn't really take that long. So as you can see, it wasn't fully dry, but it did have a shell on it. I'm going to go ahead and dip this strawberry back in the chocolate because now I'm going to start adding my nuts on them. Um, I'm going to be using this chocolate as like a glue to keep the nuts on. So once the chocolate dries, the nuts will dry on with them, if that makes sense. So you just want to re-dip them and this will make it like more of a, a deep chocolate taste. So you have like extra or whatever um you don't have to do this but i did it because i just felt like it'd be easier um i've never actually done the strawberries before but when i seen them on facebook i wanted to try them so this was like my best guess on how to make it because it didn't show it on how to make it on social media so now i'm just basically sprinkling walnuts on the top of some of them because some of the walnuts like fell off or you know weren't trying to stay on so i just dipped them in the chocolate and then sprinkled the walnuts on top now i went ahead and used the extra chocolate to just drizzle on top just to seal the walnuts on there and then this is how they are looking now for my white chocolate i'm gonna do the same thing and i'm gonna dip it back inside of this white chocolate mix and then i'm going to grab a bowl of my almonds and I'm going to cover the strawberry with the almonds. As you can see, the chocolate's like dripping because you know, it wasn't dry yet, which you don't want it to be. And then you can see that the walnuts are on there. I love the fact that they're all different sizes. It makes it look so much prettier in my opinion. So I'm just gonna keep dipping them and rubbing them in almonds. And then some of them I'm not gonna dip because I felt like the almonds kept just falling off. So you just want to cover them in the chocolate, either dip them in the almonds, or you can even get the almonds and just sprinkle them on the top. Um, I feel like that was kind of easier for me to, you know, sprinkle some of the nuts on the top because some of the strawberries were a little bit smaller to where they weren't really trying to hold big almonds or almond pieces, period.
Now I'm gonna just grab a spoon and take my white chocolate and just drizzle the chocolate over the strawberries like I did for the other one. This is just to hold the nuts in place. Um, also just to give it a more pretty look. Everybody loves a nice little drizzle look on their strawberries. But also when it dries, it'll hold the nuts so the nuts won't fall off. And I feel like I was really smart for thinking about that because I was like, you might as well just drizzle some on. Okay, so just to give you a close up of how they and look right now. Oh so, my God, yeah. they look so amazing. Um, the white chocolate ones are actually finished, but the chocolate ones aren't. We just need to add our caramel sauce on top of them because they are chocolate turtles. So I ended up removing the white chocolates off the off the pan and now i'm gonna add my caramel sauce on top of the chocolate ones because it ain't turtle without caramel so i grabbed this caramel hard shell sauce from the store basically when this dries as well it'll get hard so i just tried to drizzle a little bit on each but this sauce is like very like liquid like it's very loose so it just comes right out um but i mean once it dries it's like a really nice dry. And then there's a close up of how I had them looking. And then I'll also show you how they look when they're done. So that's how they look once they're dried up. Oh my God, they look so nice. And then there's the white chocolate ones. When I tell you this is so hey guys, pretty. It's time for the taste test part of this video, which is my personal favorite. Um, I think these came out really, really good. So I'm gonna do a close up. I think I'm gonna get a really pretty one to show you. Here's the chocolate turtle one. So basically this is strawberry, chocolate, uh, salted walnuts, or you can do unsalted, but I like my salted, and some caramel sauce on it. And then we have the white chocolate almond cluster strawberry. So this is strawberry, white chocolate, and almond. Sea salt crushed almond. So yeah, oh my God, I'm so ready to try these because they look so good. And I wanted them for Valentine's Day, but I wasn't able to get them. Let me try this one first. Mm. I want another one of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and try the other one first. Oh. Okay, guys, now for the second one. The white chocolate cluster one. I think these look so pretty. I'm trying to get it to focus in, but I don't think it is. This one, probably 10 times better because I love almonds. But this one is really good too. Especially because I love chocolate turtles. This one is really good. Oh my gosh. All right guys, so I'm actually not gonna be able to vote on which one I think I like the best because these are both really, really good the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm so sorry that it had to be a voiceover but i really wanted to get this video out there was no way i could do it with you guys um with me interacting with you guys throughout the video because of how loud it is in my house being that i have two kids um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already also, don't forget to like this video to show appreciation and just to show me that you guys are liking the content. Also, comment down below any ideas that you see on social media that you want me to cook. Also, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter where you guys can be in on the voting process on what gets cooked. And yeah, don't forget to turn that post notification bell on because I will be dropping another video. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.